if that doesn't show you what the cruising community is like, I don't know what does. Everyone's got each other's backs. I'm Holly, that's Ray, and this is our home, Sabado. Subscribe to Tag Along on the Adventure. Today is haircut day aboard Sabado. <laughs> Are the fish eating your hair? <laughs> The water clarity today is unbelievable. There's supposed to be some sort of underwater sculpture park nearby. I realize that sounds kind of fake, but I'm pretty sure it's real. And I think since the water is just so clear today, it might be the perfect day to check it out. equalizing my ears today which is annoying but the water is just so calm I can't believe this is how I get to spend my morning checklist online of like things that are down here that you can find. I should have done some more research.
water feels so good. could have lost our boat today. Ray's going to go check on our neighbor's lines just to be safe, but these are our mooring lines. They're completely shredded and we inspect our lines every day, so this must have happened in the past 24 hours, which is crazy. So we swap them out with another set that we have on board. There's nothing sharp around the eye, but we do spin around a lot in this mooring field, I guess. So we'll probably head to shore later today to replace the two lines that were damaged and then maybe also pick up some fire hose or chafe guard or something to use for the rest of the time that we're here. It's just scary to think about what could have happened if we didn't notice. So use this as your reminder to check your mooring lines. I guess we'll be delaying our trip to shore. That's what we had before. Yeah. We ended up getting these shafe guards that we threaded the line through, so we should be fine. But we'll definitely continue keeping an eye on things. One thing about me is I will always buy fruit from the guys who hang around the dinghy dock. Today we got a bunch of limes and whatever the heck these things are. These must have just come in season because I've only seen them around this week. So I'm going to give everything a good wash and then we'll give them a try, I guess. <laughs> Okay, something is wrong. I don't know if you can really tell, but the inside is rock hard. So I'm assuming it just wasn't ripe yet. We'll have to try again in a few days. What you working on out here? I am redoing the fuel system for the outboard on our, on our dinghy. What do you mean by redoing? Um, well, the one that's, it just had a tank and um, and fuel lines and then just the built-in little fuel filter on the outboard and no water separator so we're going to install this fuel filter that's also a water separator um, couldn't find this on the island but our friends at palm tree marine had one that they took off a different uh, project and they didn't need it anymore so we have this now thank you sam Woo! So yeah, I'm just, um, uh, you know, the owner of this, of this one who had installed things previously just used regular pipe th um, thread tape 
but because it used there's fuel in here, you're, you need to use the right stuff. So we've got uh, we've got this that we're we'll put in there and you're just getting it set up to uh, install it in the in the dinghy. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Welcome. We just heard this guy on the radio talking about how his dinghy lift is busted and it's probably been, I don't know, a minute and there's already one, two, three, four, five different dinghies over there helping him figure it out including Ray, he just went over there. But if that doesn't show you what the cruising community is like, I don't know what does. Everyone's got each other's backs. So is this the final product? I think so, yeah. What do we have going on in here? A new outboard. We took all of the decals off. We moved the fuel tank up in here so that it opens this area. We installed a fuel water separator and that's about it. Got it all cleaned up. It looks really nice. I feel like there's so much space. Yeah, that way we can fit more food in here. And did you run the fuel line differently? It looks like it goes underneath the floor now. Yeah, well that's how it was when it was new. But I wanted more space to store stuff up there, so I took the fuel tank out. But now, five years later, four years later, I realized that that wasn't the right thing to do, so I put it back. <laughs> you live and you learn. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, it's a lot better. Successful project. Finally. <laughs> Super rolling in here this evening.